Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Merlin. Last episode, the season popped off right out the gate because Morgana is just fully on the other side, whatever that means. They're making her seem real evil-like, but I hope they don't make it that black and white. Like, it's completely understandable why they feel this way about Uther, but uh, it's the levels that they're willing to go to that I'm super worried about. I mean, there's no love lost there between her and Merlin, but that's pretty understandable too, considering he tried to poison her, but you know, I just hate this. And uh, Merlin has already called in his favor to the dragon because he was in a bad way. And uh, things are just a, a mess. Things are a mess. And uh, this is a, a continuation from the last episode because it's, you know, the Tears of Uther Pendragon part duh. So I'm imagining we're going to get right back into where we ended, but I, I don't see a... I don't see how we get a stalemate out of this, uh, even if that's what happens. Like, are they going to kill Uther? I could see them doing that. I don't know when. I I keep waiting for when Uther is going to die and Arthur becomes king, but I don't know when that's going to be. And I don't know if Morgana is going to be involved in how that happens, but she is just mad. She is pissed. And uh, I want I want things to be better. I don't care about her relationship with Uther. I don't need that to be fixed. But I need her relationship with Merlin to be fixed. So I don't know where we go from here. But I'm hoping it doesn't get worse before it gets better. So I'm excited to see. <sighs> Just what comes next. Because I, I really don't know how this is going to go. I just hope it goes better than the last episode because last episode was tough but uh yeah let's do it i don't think you're not so my call vale. Yo, i could not resist a dragon lord even if i wanted to all right i'm grateful thank you use that voice don't try and cover for it he didn't come home last night i can't find him when you do you can tell him he's the target <laughs> Smoke them out. No, oh, distract them. Oh my. Just kill him. What are you waiting for? Just never trust him, God. You did what you felt was right, and that shows great courage. Your determination to see goodness in people will be your undoing. That is not a bad characteristic. But I fear that your future. Why are we taking advice from him? Now joined forever. He tried to burn down Camelot. She is the darkness to your light. No, the they don't have to be at odds. I hate this. I need to get back to Camelot. You're not yet fully recovered, Merlin. Everything's and grayer it's more than, than three that. Days walk. Can I get a list? I have no intention of walking. Oh. Oh, he is a dragon rider. Are you all right? <laughs> Morgana is in league with Mago. She's plotting against her. What? She's responsible for his visions. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Get the mandrake. Oh, God. I mean, he deserves this. I mean, you did that, my guy. There you go. Die screaming. Let this change you, Uther. You need to rest. Feel the weight of the suffering that you have caused. I heard Morgana and my goes. There's more to the plan, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm sure of it as well. Oh my god, that is a lot of soldiers. What happened? What happened? He's a child, that's what, that's what happened. I wasn't going for that long. Well, what have you got to say for yourself? You've not had your breakfast this morning, have you? Oh, well, you for breakfast? <laughs> oh, no wonder this place is such a mess. 
He's still oh. yelling at him. I was thinking about what to wear. We found the source of his sickness. He was being enchanted. Enchanted? What? You need not worry, my lady. You'll make a full recovery. It is a relief. Indeed, my lady. They're on to you. You're leaving out some key details there. Damn. They completely changed her personality. But what about the people in the outlying villages? Give them refuge within the city walls. And what if their houses, their livelihoods? Senrid will destroy everything in his path. They will have their lives. <sighs> I mean... Go. They're coming. Sanctuary, I think, is all you can offer. You made a tough decision. We, you're risking how you know what? What? I'd really prefer it if you just kept quiet in these situations. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. Well, you're not. You were mad when he wasn't dogging. No, you don't mean that. You're just worried. Yes. You don't need to be. Look what we've got. What? You. Me. Oh yeah. Mullen, Don't what exactly are you going to say do? anything? I'm gonna be at your side like I always am. God help me. <laughs> if you only knew. I trust you, Arthur. More than Uther, more than any man. Worry is not a wise counsel. More than Lancelot? <laughs> Forget everything else. You have to follow what you believe is right. You too must play your part. Tell me what I must do. I would like to see some sh internal struggle with her, at least. These poor people. It's a little hot. I'd like you to get nervous, is it, Merlin? I'm not nervous. No? Is your fate to be the greatest king Camelot has ever known? Your victory today will be remembered. Hype man. By every age. Till the end of time. Damn. There are times, Merlin, when you display a sort of... I don't know what it is. I don't want to say... It's not wisdom. Ah. But yes. That's what it is. What an admission. Don't look so pleased yeah. the rest of the time you're complete idiot. <laughs> he gives us one hand and takes it the other. That is a hideous wig. Oh damn, I'm surprised to see him out in the battle. And what this guy is going to do if... Morgana wants to do something. This is <gasps> not going well. Don't hurt Gaius, Morgana. Time for you to deliver your side of the bargain. Patience, Sergeant. You will not be disappointed. What is the play here? Whoa. What did that do? What the hell is that? The hand. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're having an army of the undead on top of the other army? Uh, 
children are dying, the city will fall. Good. No, you mean Who that. are you? He's magic man. Luther hates me and everyone like me. Why should I feel any differently about him? You it's not just him. His mind. But doing this, using magic like this will only harden his heart. You don't have magic, man. How could you hope to understand? I do understand, believe me. Just tell her. Do you think I deserve to be executed because of who I am? No. Hmm. I can find another way. Come on. There is no other way. There is. Use magic. What are you going to do? Kill me. You don't think I can? I mean, you did try to kill her, so. You're going to do it. Make it quick. I think if you would have just related to her, tell her you had magic, tell her it doesn't have to be this way, you know. I'm calling off the siege. You can't. I cannot take the city unaided. That was not our bargain. You have failed me, Senred. I'd rather fail you, Mokos, than watch thousands of men die. Ah! Good on him. Even before the battle, we knew there was a traitor in our midst. She told on you. One who was almost the undoing of us. Merlin. However, we have to thank the one person who outwitted them. For it was she who bravely entered the vault, found the magical vessel, and destroyed it. No. We must be vigilant. And who's the traitor? We must stand firm against the dark forces of magic. All I feel for her is sad. I'm sad. She becomes so bitter, so full of hate. Don't let that happen to you, man. Bring her back over. I don't think it ever made me that angry. Get your lazy backside out here. Second thoughts? <laughs> Jeez, I'm so fucking frustrated by this. I just see how easily this could be not completely fixed, but helped by just honesty. I think the way you reach Morgana is to reason with her and let her know she's not alone. And the only path that she has is not just... The one she's currently on. Why would Merlin not tell her? Like, I mean, yes, she could tell Uther, but she could tell him. She'd lie and tell him. So what's the point of not telling her? I know Merlin believes in this destiny and it's the advice that he gets from the dragon, but... She doesn't have to be the darkness to your light. Like, there is a, a middle ground there. But it just seems like Morgana doesn't feel like... She just doesn't feel like she can do anything but what she is currently doing. She's so blinded by her hatred and vengeance toward Uther that it's letting her do all of this terrible stuff like it's it's not okay to attack Camelot because you hate Uther you've had so many opportunities to kill him you're trying to destroy everything and burn everything to the ground like that's not okay and I don't know why more ghosts is wanting that so much too I get the problem with Uther and magic he's wrong he absolutely is but this is the right thing to do I just don't get it Morgana seems fundamentally different and I don't know if something happened to her or just what happened that what we saw was enough to turn her into this but it just doesn't track for me Like, she's so unfriendly to, or fake, to Gwen. She's completely at odds with with Merlin. Would, would she kill Arthur as well? Arthur could have died in this battle. So many people died for no fucking reason. 
like if you think the rot is that deep and it's not just Uther, it's Arthur, you have to tear down everything. Like what, what about what you are doing makes sense that that's the greater good that y'all would be better leaders. Is that what they want? Do they want to run Camelot themselves? Because right now, all I see that they want is destruction. I'm not cool with that. But I'm also not cool with how black and white the dragon, but also like Gaius is making it seem like she's fully darkness. Like that's what is being shown, but... Where did that come from? She wasn't always this way. And you're telling me she can't be leveled with at all? Even if she knew that Merlin had magic? I just don't buy it. I'm just so sad. I feel like Merlin. It is sad that it's come to this. I don't know how we got here. I mean, Arthur did a great job. He's such a great leader. Love seeing him out there leading the charge. And I'm honestly surprised and, you know, happy that Uther was willing to sacrifice himself too. He wasn't just hiding himself away as the king. There are terrible things about him, but he's not the worst king in the world he's bad he doesn't deserve his place but watch any show that's got like shitty kings and i don't know if he'd rank in the top five but uh there are good qualities to him and his love of his son and his love of camelot even as misguided as it is is to be counted so no one's all, no one has to be all evil or all good here. It doesn't have to be that black and white. It's just, it just sucks that it's being positioned that way. I just wish I could see more struggle in Morgana. And all she is is just gleefully devising plots and it's just ugh, it sucks like the character that I've loved for the past two year or two seasons I just don't see her anymore she seems completely different that's a little frustrating but Merlin is doing what he thinks is right and I don't know if that is Morgana's driving force right now I think that is vengeance which is the problem. I just don't know if she's able to be snapped out of this. Do we have to have this be a foregone conclusion that she can't be saved or gotten to? She could have killed Uther. She was right there with him. But no, let's torture him some more. So other people can be getting killed in this battle when you could have just ended it like that. I don't know where we go from here, but Morgana is still in the inside. She is going to still be talking to more ghosts and they're going to devise a new plan. I honestly can't believe the King Tom Ellis, I don't know his name, um, but gave up so easily. They weren't doing terribly. They had a shit ton of soldiers. So, I mean, I guess he cut his losses. But uh, I think they could have taken it down if they really wanted to. I mean, I'm glad they didn't, but they'll just, they're going to devise a new plan and they're going to have to deal with it. But in the meantime, I don't know what the relationship between Merlin and Morgana is going to be like. Maybe she, he can start softening her edges, but I think he needs to tell her, just tell her. What is the harm? She could lie on you anyway.
this is like not even considering like the Mordred of it all who is supposed to be like the real issue eventually for Arthur so Mordred Morgos Morgana the three m's and Merlin the four m's poor Arthur but uh yeah, I'm super bummed by this. I'm just super bummed. It makes me miss the good old days when everybody was happy and friends and all the evils were the outside forces, not from the inside of our people. But it's compelling. I'm just really sad about it. So we'll see where it goes from here. Maybe it'll settle down a little bit. Maybe we can have some conversations. But I don't know. I don't have a good feeling, so... We'll see. But, I mean, this is a really good episode. The, the fighting looked really good. The dragon looked really good. Uh, I'm, I'm excited by season three. But I feel bad. I feel bad about Morgana. I really like her. And I don't like seeing her like this. And I don't want to think that she can't be gotten to. But I don't really feel good about the possibilities of getting her back in any kind of way. So, we'll see. So until then, thanks for watching guys. I'll be back soon.